Hey guys, so since the invention of firearms in the 10th century, engineers, craftsmen, and soldiers have constantly tried to make them even deadlier. This is usually done by making bullets heavier with more powerful gunpowder, but that also creates a stronger kick and a need for a new firearm. One solution is the creation of new, more deadly ammo for already existing weapons. Dragon's Breath The Dragon's Breath rounds are considered one of the coolest and most exotic rounds for a shotgun. They are mostly made of pyrophoric materials and shards. When fired, while passing through the gun's barrel, the magnesium actively reacts with oxygen. The result is a plume of white fire which can turn a firearm into a flamethrower. The released flame resembles a furious dragon's fire breath. These bullets are pyrotechnic ones and they burn at a temperature of 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, which is enough to wash your target in Hellfire. People who prefer to use Dragon's Breath say these bullets can be used for non-lethal damage in self-defense. Also, if you fire these bullets, you might burn who's attacking you as well as yourself and your whole home. Naturally, these rounds are illegal and have never been used in combat, so it's unclear what they would do to a human body. Again, getting hit by a huge amount of white-hot metal fragments is probably unpleasant, so let's agree that these bullets are extremely dangerous. Soft Point Expanding Bullets Soft point expanding bullets have an expanding surface at the end of the bullet, which expands when it hits its target. One way or another, using these bullets caused protests by international organizations calling them inhumane and war crimes. And soon, in 1899, Expanding bullets and deforming bullets were banned for military use at the Hague Convention of 1899. Amazingly, every country still follows this rule without fail, at least when it comes to what is officially allowed for ammunition. However, they can be used by police forces and people for self-defense. Why were they banned? because they can expand and break into tiny fragments inside the victim's body, increasing the damage massively. Also, normal bullets that are fully covered and rounded with a smooth surface penetrate their target without expanding. If a bullet doesn't slow down when it hits the target's body, it simply passes through. But these expanding bullets remain in the victim's body. As soon as they penetrate, they expand slowing down and rarely perforating. And when they are taken out, they leave behind a huge hole in the body. This evil creation opens up like a flower, which gave its poetic but gloomy name, Flower of Death Dum Dum. The evolution of the Dum Dum bullets led to hollow point bullets with copper coverings and a hollow opening at the end covered in a lead heart. When it hits its target, the point turns into a hydra, a much larger than the original bullet, creating much larger wounds than a bullet, with a non-hollow point. In addition to expanding, some hollow points are also designed to fragment, causing many wound channels and even more physical harm. This type of ammo is widely used by police and for self-defense because of the decreased risk of ricochet and the great stopping power when firing it at a live, unarmored target. They are freely sold among with typical bullets in many countries. The 577 Tyrannosaur The 577 Tyrannosaur isn't a dinosaur, but is just as deadly. It's a crazy powerful bullet made by the little-known American company A-Square in 1993 at the request of two professional guides in Zimbabwe 
who had the risky job of protecting people while on hunting trips. They needed bullets that could instantly stop an attacking animal like a water buffalo or elephant. The solution was a 94.2 millimeter bullet weighing 49 grams. The bullet's caliber is 14.9 millimeters. The company's own Hannibal rifle is the only one that can fire these bullets. Keep in mind, firing it creates a massive kick that will seriously injure your shoulder. It's over 1.5 times as strong as the kick from a gun using an expanding bullet. Bullets with a nuclear charge It turns out bullets depleted uranium aren't a myth. In the 1970s, the US actually tested 7.62 mm low-caliber bullets with a tip of depleted uranium weighing about 3.6 grams and with a muzzle velocity of over 2,000 miles per hour. However, unlike other bullets with similar tips, they didn't have a wide release. Uranium's high density makes it the perfect material for armor, armor-piercing rounds, and anti-tank rounds. Depleted uranium has very interesting properties. It has the highest level of self-sharpening out of all metals when passing through a sheet of armor. When passing through steel, the upper layers of the uranium take on the current properties and move backwards along the uranium's axis, letting it move further into deeper layers. The radiation of these bullets was paltry, significantly less than the acceptable dose for normal daily life. Just one of these bullets can go for $2,500 to $3,500 at a collector's market in the U.S. today. Macho Gaucho Round Macho Gaucho Rounds are capable of tearing your target to ribbons. It looks a bit like a bola, a weapon that is made of two connected heavy balls on a rope one to two feet long. Gauchos, or South American cowboys, used them for hundreds of years for hunting game or capturing large horned animals. They wrap around the animal's legs, making it stop. During the sailing age, ammo made of two balls and a rope were used to destroy sails and masts. It's made out of two spheres connected by a chain or whip. The concept was used in the 21st century as a kind of deadly round for a 12-gauge shotgun. Jihog Ammo Jihog Ammo has been called the most controversial bullet of all time. It is highly criticized and even ridiculed in communities of people that use guns. Its creators, who are said to be the creators of the Idaho rifle, were sitting by the fire one day drinking beer, and they were furious because of a building just two blocks away from the 9-11 terrorist attack. The building was a 13-floor Islamic center in Lower Manhattan. So they decided to find a way to resist any future terrorists that might exit that building. So this is what they made. They decided to create bullets that would be haram, or forbidden by Allah. They somehow convinced a company that produces paint and lacquer, called South 4 Industries, to work with them and to add pork meat to the paint that would be used to paint standard 9mm bullets. In 2013, when they began to produce these bullets, the company announced, with Jihog Ammo, you won't just kill an Islamic terrorist, you'll send him straight to hell. Of course, they made a lot of noise. When criticized, they naturally said they aren't made to offend anyone, but are made for self-defense. Bullets for Duck Guns Duck guns are the largest shotguns that were used to hunt wild fowl in the 19th and 20th centuries. A typical duck gun is 72 feet long on average, had an opening with a diameter of 51 millimeters, and weighed 95 pounds. It was a huge weapon. In some old pictures, you'll find two men carrying the duck gun on their shoulders. They set them up on a small groove in a boat, and the hunter would need to maneuver the entire boat to aim the gun at a flock of birds. The barrel's large diameter let it shoot a 500-gram cartridge that could kill up to 90 birds per shot. 
This shotgun was created to appease the insatiable demand of feathers in the fashion industry. Naturally, after this weapon was released, the populations of wild birds suffered significantly, so the gun was declared illegal. The Radically Penetrating G2 Research Rip Bullet First place on our list of crazy bullets is taken by the radically invasive bullet called Rest in Peace. Many people consider it as the deadliest bullet in the world, and its producer calls it the last bullet you'll ever need. Its impressive effects are due to the unique tip that lets it fragment when it hits its target. The producer confirms the bullet can create nine separate wounds in its target and destroy your vital organs. Well, that's all for today. Leave a like and comment. Let me know which one of these bullets you think is the most deadly. And we'll see you again next time.